Hey everybody, this is 50 Fun Things Winnipeg number seven. Seven. Lucky seven. Number lucky, lucky number seven. Yep. So uh, this week we are going for pottery painting at uh, Brushfire Brush Studio. Studios. Two for one Tuesday. Yeah. Um, and what are we doing there, Janice? We're going to be doing some painting on some already predetermined items. We haven't selected them yet. Mm -hmm. um, They'll have a, a, a wide selection, I hope, of uh, different uh, ceramics or pottery that you can, uh, I think you have to purchase some as well, and then uh, paint them however you want. And, I'm feeling uh, good about this one because I feel like the sporting activities I don't do so well at, but this I'm going to excel at. Okay. Now that I've said that, Dale's probably going to beat me in this too. <laughs> No, we're, there's no winning, Janice. There's always it's winning. just, no, no there's winning. Always winning. It's 50 fun things, not 50 winning things. 50 fun things that I win. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, I hope it's going to be a great time. Uh, I can't decide what I want to paint. We thought maybe some little uh, a, a water dish and food dish for our little, uh, our little kitty. Um, or I thought maybe I could do something of my most favorite sports team. Me too. Um, which, and Janice could do her favorite sports team, which is cake. cake. Uh, my favorite team is the New York Jets. So, uh, yeah, we'll be doing that tonight. And uh, hopefully we'll it's video, great. And then we'll do the review. Yeah, and hopefully everyone likes what we've done. That's right. up. See you, everybody. So here are some of the lovely projects you can choose from. There's uh, plates and mugs and trays, all sorts of stuff. Pretty much anything you can imagine. And you need to do three coats of each color to get a true opaque color. Um, I chose a plate. Actually, I did two. And I chose a mug. Which isn't really the one that's shown in the picture because he changed his mind, but that's okay. <laughs> this is Janice sketching out her uh, template. You can get all the paint colors you like and they supply sponges and brushes and styluses. That's me painting. Made you my scully guy. Looks good. It's kind of scary because when you're painting it, it goes on kind of chalky and you think, ooh, what's this gonna look like when you're done? Mm -hmm. But everything, um, once once it comes out, and as long as you do the three coats, it comes out and it turns out really opaque. You'll see later on. So, uh, but yeah, tons of brushes to choose from. Here's my little scully guy. Oh, there's my little cake guy. I can't wait to have cake on my cake plate. How cute is that? Oh, I love that plate. It is very cute. Look at his little whipped cream hair. I like that little guy. Or is it a girl? It's a it's a girl. She has whipped cream for hair. Oh, okay. Very cute. Yeah. And we're moving on to Dale's piece. Yep. The New York Jets. It's my favorite team. And that's going to be my new coffee mug. It's really nice. You're a really good job. Got the color down, like almost perfect for the Jets. Yeah, I think it is the, uh, the correct Jets color. And uh, I like that black stripe on the bottom. That turned out all right. And uh, I put my name on the bottom. That's the major. I put a thumbprint on the bottom of mine and paint. Oh, thumbs up for me. Mm -hmm. This last one is my Scully plate. I stole the design from online, um, but I did hand draw it. I guess there's not much really to hand draw, but I did a, a red edge. And Dale helped me with the splattering part. Because the first time I tried it, I got splatter, I got paint all over my face, mm -hmm. all over my cardigan, everywhere. So then we did uh, it a different way. And then I did red on the back to make it a little more gory like because that's how I roll. So. Yeah, it turned out really awesome. It's yeah. beautiful. It was good. It's I really I thought it was a, t a ton of fun, so I'm gonna give it five winky octopuses out of five. Thanks for watching!